back with another banger for you guys today and as you can see by the title we have a new mr beast video this one dropped earlier today and it is called protect the lamborghini keep it okay so it looks like we got the lambo sitting on some train tracks or some shit and we about to stop a full-fledged not we but they about to try and stop a full-fledged train going at the fastest speeds to protect this lambo and i guarantee it's not gonna happen but we finna find out we finna check out in today's video before we do so if you guys would like to follow me on my gaming channel link will be in the description down below we've been posting content over there you guys have been showing major support and i appreciate that also make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel with notifications turned on that way you do not miss any of the uploads man and let's dive right into mr b content because as always this shit gets pretty interesting so let's check it out sitting on these train tracks is a quarter million dollar lamborghini and barreling right, right. down on it right now is a <laughs> massive train okay. but before the impact i'm giving this lamborghini to blake thank you and on top of sending the train i'm also gonna have these eight soldiers shoot ten thousand bullets at your lamborghini that's the scariest thing what I've ever seen. yeah it's gonna be fun. And you have exactly 24 hours to build whatever you want to protect your Lamborghini from the bullets. The timer starts now. Okay, first line of defense, I'm thinking a wall of cinder blocks. After that, some shipping containers filled with refrigerators. And then basically just a wall of cars to block those bullets. Do you think all of this is enough to stop 10,000 bullets? I think it is, Jimmy. Okay, but so far nothing's there. You should get to building. Blake immediately drove to three stores where I gave him my credit card and he literally spent $78,000 on supplies. And since I don't want to bore you with all that, let's just skip to the part when everything was delivered. His first round of supplies are starting to show up. Oh my God, I can't believe I bought all this stuff. And this is Just imagine Mr. Beast handing you his car. All right, go truck. spend how Some much you want to spend just to protect this Lamborghini and you get out of Like, he what? This, stuff? <laughs> this is crazy. Don't worry about the guys with the machine guns. Just pretend they're not there. Yeah. I don't even know what they're doing there, honestly. We're five hours in, and this storage container is about to be the first line of defense against 10,000 bullets. All right, that's probably good. That's probably good. Do you think that shipping container is going to stop any bullets? Absolutely not. So as of now, he's screwed. Yeah, he's not looking good for him. Oh, gosh. It's been oh, about six shit. hours. Are you happy with your progress? I'm very happy. You sure? It wasn't until this thing got down, but now that it's down, dude, I feel really good. I asked him if this would stop the bullets. And they said no. And once Blake realized he had to go all out, he worked not only through the night. This way, Mr. Railroad ties. Nice, nice, yes. Really nice, really nice. But even into the next morning, upgrading his defense. Dude, he's I would do it too. Shit, 24 hours staying up. Giant tube. I would do that and to protect the Lambo. Together, I, shit, I'd do that streaming Call of Duty. The fuck? Like, yes. I was honestly pretty <laughs> impressed. Run me he went crazy. Built. So I built a whole bunch of concrete in the front. And the tallest part of the wall is right in the center to block the crow's nest machine guns because those things are big and scary. I got all my oh, storage containers and a bunch of Damn, water. they use right over here. <laughs> they use some see, LMGs. They made a motherfucking machine guns, Amongst bro. everything. There it is. Nice and cozy. <laughs> LMGs, man. This will stop the bullets. Yeah, I do. I think you have a 50% chance of survival. That's the best odds I've had yet, so. And before I have them shoot 10,000 rounds, come with me to the Lamborghini. Not only are you competing for this Lamborghini, but for 100 grand as well. What? Yes, sir. I mean, I'm not worried about this. This will be enough to cover the insurance. Like, like, if, like the <laughs> money's not going to get up, fucked up by bullets. Scary men, the Lambo's protecting the brand. It's the Lambo you got to worry about. Blake has built. Are you ready? Just get it over with. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> We're locked and loaded. How they finna the count 10K bullets? Sir, fire at will. Roger that. Stand by! Roger that. Fire! Oh! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, they are on the on his oh my god! Oh, it's getting heat! That motherfucker right, getting heat! actually ripping through the center box now. Oh my god! Bro, this makes me think about how powerful these motherfucking bullets are, bro, in war. You get hit by one, it's over. And imagine them shooting a hundred, bro, 10,000 bullets coming. Oh, man. There's no way you making oh, it through war, dog. Yo, <laughs> You're not making it through war, dog. <laughs> I'm the glad I be moving up Call of Duty. Blake, if these <laughs> guns are only the first of four phases we've designed to destroy this Lamborghini. Or should I say, whatever remains after this. They just brought out the LMG. Oh, shit. Bro, I swear that Lambo is probably fun. All it takes is one bullet to penetrate, and it's going in his Lambo. Oh my god! These are the last bullets. Lambo! All clear? Let's go! Damn, that's oh, crazy, god. Please be bro. safe, please be 
And if you don't already know who Blake is, he's actually a contestant from two previous videos. But today he's back for a third and final attempt to win the grand prize. Are you ready for phase two? Yes. See that giant crane coming? That big yellow oil rig looking thing? That is phase two. That crane is going to lift your car up 100 feet and then in 24 hours drop it and you have to catch it without it being destroyed. Seriously? Yeah. All right, bring it over here. And while we prepare the world's first 100-foot Lamborghini freefall, there goes your Lamborghini, Blake. Blake began to strategize on how he was going to catch it. I have no idea what I'm going to do. Chandler, come over here. Yes, I'm here. How would you break its fall? So you get all the pillows in the city. Good. Step two, get all the mattresses. Next, get a blanket. Chandler, you're just making a giant bed. Then a warm glass of milk. <laughs> all right, stop. You're not helping. Blake, work your magic. Oh, I'm screwed. <laughs> all right, guys, I got some good news and bad news. We passed day one with flying colors. The bad news is uh, the Lamborghini is airborne, okay? So, anyone got any ideas? I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, like, what do we think? The bouncy castles? Bouncy castles, that, that's actually not that bad, just because that's not bad at all, really. And after being inspired by the construction worker's wisdom, Blake had decided on his master plan. I would like to move the connexes in like a square right here with the X in the middle, and that way I can just fill the square up with a bunch of air mattresses, pillows, bubble wrap, and I'll top it all off with a bunch of bouncy castles. Just, you know, the biggest problem right now is I have no materials. Everything that I bought is hard concrete or metal, and nothing that I bought I can use for day two, so I have absolutely nothing. And so Blake sent his crew to buy every pillow and air mattress in the city. And even though he was incredibly sleep deprived, he got to work. I'm already at the stage where it's like, wait, why am I doing this again? Oh yeah, that's right. I'm in a challenge for a Lamborghini that's floating in the sky right now. By the time his materials had arrived, Blake yeah. had been awake for over 24 hours and was in desperate need of sleep. I'm gonna try to get some sleep because I'm exhausted and it's four in the morning. And with how exhausted Blake was, he ended up sleeping for way longer than he planned. Blake! Um, is he serious? What is this? He got mattresses, pillows, and blankets, but he's missing the warm milk. Yeah, that's the key to everything. <laughs> Where is yeah. Blake? He's asleep, I heard. No, he's not. Yeah. By the time Blake got on site, <laughs> he, he was already all casual super late in the day. That's Blake's truck pulling up. All right, we need to get to work, come on. All right, let's just see what this looks like. Oh, that bouncy house works as a big box. So I'm thinking maybe we put that thing in the middle now and then we start blowing it up. Only four and a half hours remain and it's not looking good for Blake. I don't think he has more than a 10% chance of catching that Lamborghini. And even if he does, there's no shot he's stopping that train later on. Start filling up the side so that way it's high over here takes away this wall. So with only a couple of hours remaining, Blake did all that he could by filling the rest of his pit with cardboard boxes and bubble wrap. It's coming down to the wire. Chandler, how much time is left? One hour. Well, I survived the 2,000 bullets. I, probably bubble wrap wrap. This. I think I'm just gonna get raised on this thing and just wrap my baby up in this bubble wrap and I'm good to go. That's definitely gonna help. Blake spent what little time he had remaining on this crane, failing <laughs> at trying to bubble wrap his car. It's just not gonna work. You know what time it is? What? Time to drop the car. Let's drop this bad boy. The failed bubble wrap makes it look majestic. Blake, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? I'm positive, Jimmy. He's more certain than me. If it bounces <laughs> off and hits the ground, it's hectic, bro. At Walmart. <laughs> it is literally hectic. I, I did everything I can. <laughs> Here's a few stools. Oh, no, bro. I feel like... You know, that way, even if you lose the car, at least you have to yeah. get chocolate. It's available in Walmart. Be sure to go try our new chocolate bar. I'm so curious what you think. But anyways, you have three bouncy castles, 150 mattresses. How many pillows? 150. 150 pillows and 2,000 cardboard boxes. Will it break the Lamborghini's fall? Yes. Yes. That's two yeses. Okay. 24 hours of work. He doubled down. down. This. No pun intended. Three, two, one. Damn, it's Loki hectic. <laughs> oh! Did it really break? Yeah, we got oh, no, 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 no. Out of my way! That did not sound good. Please be okay, please be okay, please be okay, please be okay. Alright, he's moving the connect straight out the way. There's no way you got that Lambo. Get these boxes out of the, the way. Window. What? We're about to find out how damaged this car is. The lights work. Ooh. The lights work? Yeah, this princess castle might have saved this entire car. <laughs> Moment of truth. You might have been the first person in history to catch a Lamborghini. If it turns on. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, it works! I can't believe it! Yes! That's what I'm 
Why did it take so long to turn on? No, that sounded hectic. Everything looks good, minus a little crack in the bumper. Which we found out by this official appraiser. This was only going to reduce the price of Blake's Lamborghini by probably 10 grand. Thank you so much. Thanks for the good news. And now is the perfect That's time it? to okay. mention that phase three is flaming cars. For Blake's next challenge, we're bringing back his biggest nightmare. So Lamborghini is still in, you know, 95% condition. Challenge that cost Blake everything last time. Wow. That's a low blow to me. But seeing how he's done this before, we're going to up the stakes by dropping twice as many cars as last time. I'll see you tomorrow. I got a lot to prove. Redemption day. Blake spent the rest of the night disassembling his defense for phase two. And after a good night of sleep, he was ready to begin his defense for phase three. It's eight in the morning, just woke up. I got a lot of work to do today, so let's get started. Here's the day three plan. I'm gonna cut the bottom out of a shipping container and I'm gonna drop it right on the car. Next, I'm gonna take two more containers and I'm gonna lean them up coming to a point right above the car. And Low key, I was already thinking that. Like, I was like, why don't you just get a bunch of shipping containers and kind of like, like box the Lamborghini. I'm like, that would be the best thing. Most importantly, nothing flammable this time. Do you think that will deflect the car? Yes, sir. Oh, I thought you were gonna say no. <laughs> Blake then asked his crew to remove every piece of wood that was in the container, because that's what ended his challenge last time. He then had them cut out the bottom of the container that would surround the Lamborghini. The storage container could put a lot of damage. Will he crush it? Yeah. It can? I mean, yeah, that thing weighs a whole lot. And with that being done, Blake just needs to lower the container carefully over the Lamborghini without damaging. One scratch could cost him thousands of dollars. You're good, just like that. It is so close to scraping the car. Watch your fingers, we're coming down. Yes! I yes! cannot believe that. All right, next we're gonna bring these containers together to form a V. What if the car gets caught in there? Yeah, that's, that can't happen, dude. That's why we're putting this Damn. pointy thing at the top. Do you think that will actually deflect a car? <laughs> 100%. 20 minutes remain, and then we see if that Lamborghini perishes just like his 500 grand. And as usual, Blake utilized every last second. Three, two, one. Yeah, I don't know sure how I'm feeling about it, bro. <laughs> time is up. No. Let's see if, unlike last time, you survive phase three. Redemption. Oh, no. You lost $500,000? <laughs> oh, exact no, yeah. How are you feeling? I feel pretty confident. I think the viewers want to know one thing. Did you put wood inside of there like last time? A little bit. No, I'm just kidding. There's no wood in there. It was one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life. Moment of truth. Come on Ooh. in. Three shipping containers, a bunch of dirt, concrete, a weird, like, pointed roof thing versus 10 flaming cars. Are you ready? Let's go, dude. Light it on fire! This is hectic. Will Blake be one step closer to going home with a brand new Damn, Lamborghini they should have closed the bag. filled with $100,000 or be eliminated and go home with nothing? We're about to find out. Three, two, one. Drop it! Oh! Oh. Oh. Oh, you did not I want feel that. like that's exactly what he didn't want to happen. Oh, no. Still feeling good? Yeah, it's over, bro. Not as good. Yeah, this is giving me some flashbacks. It's giving you some flashbacks. All right, ready for the next one? Let's do it. Let's do it. Drop it. <laughs> I mean, you got no choice at oh this point. Oh, my God. The roof looks like it's already buckling. And just in case Blake loses to the flaming cars like last time, I'm going to take this moment and tell you about this amazing new phone. What you're Damn. currently watching on is the new about to with Galaxy AI, like Photo Assist. Remember the last challenge when the bumper got cracked on the Lambo? You can just circle it like this, and then all you do is you hit that eraser button, and just like that, the bumper is fixed. Now I have a new car. For the picture, you do. <laughs> that part. Whatever you're ready. This phone also has circle to search with Google, which makes finding information incredibly easy. It would have helped Blake a lot in the last video to learn about the flammability of wood and railroad ties. All he needed to do was long press the home button, circle the railroad ties, and ask, is this flammable? As you can see, railroad ties are flammable. He would have learned the answers instantly. I just told you. I was genuinely impressed by this phone, and I think you will be too. So, go to Samsung.com. He might have a good chance, low key. He got four cars left. We dropped car after car. And with each one, we could tell Blake was getting nervous. 
But we also noticed that all oh. of the impacts were starting to damage the crate itself. Oh. Your crate on the bottom is Boeing. At this point, the container protecting the Lamborghini was being crushed by the weight and heat of the cars. I thought about this every day since the last time I saw this. And now it's time for the final car! That's gonna be so dangerous trying to get that motherfucker out, bro. Oh, oh, oh no! Bro, it's gotta be a thousand degrees in there. His car has to be melting now. We got the fire extinguisher. Somehow he's running so fast. Be careful, Mike! I'm coming! How is it? I don't know if I will go in there it's and risk okay. it. It's okay. Y'all better grab, get that motherfucker out. How are they gonna get it out? Like <laughs> if one more car was dropped, this crate would have collapsed. You stopped 10,000 bullets. Easy. You caught a car out of midair. You've now deflected 10 flaming cars. And now it's time for phase four. <laughs> Damn, the, the train. train. The timer has officially started. Oh, I gotta go. Good luck on phase four. Godspeed. What is he even running at? Blake knew that the train was going to be the most deadly attack yet. So he wasted no time in getting started. I think the best way to stop a train is to derail it. That's what I've tried to build here. All these railroad ties are tucked snug, and all of these are gonna go under the train, and the train's gonna hit them like that. And if I do that a hundred more times, I don't see the train just blowing past all that. The railroad ties lost me the challenge last video. This time, they'll save me. You just need two inches off the track, and I win. Two inches is a lot, though. My man. And then once I have all this done, <laughs> I can just put concrete hey, on yo. top. I think that's gonna work, man. I think that's gonna work. Blake worked with his crew throughout the entire night. And when I showed up the next morning, it was obvious that the challenge had taken a toll on him. What's up, Jimbo? What happened to your voice? I'm like dying out here. As you guys know, he lost $250,000 in this video. He lost half a million dollars in this video. I think Blake is sick and tired of losing. He has an army going super hard. They're currently stacking the cars that we dropped on phase three on the train tracks. But time was still ticking down. And in order to stop this train and take his Lambo home, Blake began adding a lot more objects to the tracks. Like shipping containers. Mattresses, There's no way the train's the going impact. through all this, bro. <laughs> I, I definitely don't see it. And water tanks. Blake really seems to know he's about to win the Lambo, bro. At this point, Blake did everything he could to finish his he build. He survived all the other shit. Right why not? Why is it, it, it going to stop here? To look impressive. This is it. Three. The final stretch. Two. One. Last line of defense. Time's up. Stop. Turn it off. Turn it off. Time is officially up. Oh my God. From phase one's shipping containers, phase two's mattresses, and even phase three's burning cars, you somehow use all the resources from the previous phases. Let's see if you're driving home in a Lamborghini or if I'm dropping you off at your house. Bring that train on, man. Bring it on. Before we ram everything, we need to back the train up. We're gonna go really far back. That way the train can pick up a lot of speed before it hits everything. Sound like a good idea? No, Jimmy, that sounds awful. Be honest, do you think your Lamborghini will survive? God, I hope so, Jimmy. And of course, we had to put the Festival's logo on There's the There's no way that's not gonna survive this, bro. That's too much popular. shit. Do yourself a favor and go it's give it a try. too much. But for now, it's time for the biggest moment of Blake's life. Let's see if he wins a Lamborghini. Blake, any last words? Give it all you got. Send the train. Here it comes. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. It's coming! It's gonna speed up until it hits 35 miles an hour right before impact. Dude, it is going quick. It's just gonna derail, it's just gonna derail. Here she oh, comes. That motherfucker is going fast though. Yeah, he said, did he save it? Did he save it? I think he saved it. He saved it, bro. Oh, wait, he saved wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, it derailed. Wait, I think it stopped. Oh, my God. Wait, I've never seen something. Oh, time. my God. Bro, you derailed. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh my they, God. Bro, they had too much shit set up, bro. There's no way that was not going to work. Oh, my God. This is your new Lamborghini, Blake. Not only did he win the Lamborghini, but he also got all this money. Yes! Congrats! I he got to be careful driving home with that shit, boy. Place, boy. <laughs> I've been going to Walmart and buying Feastables right now. It's the best tasting chocolate on the planet. Third time's the charm. See you guys later. Yes! Mr. B. W video as always, Mr. Beast content is absolutely fire. 
And uh, yeah, this man overcame challenge. He got three attempts to win something in, in Mr. Beast content, bro. He's blessed as fuck for sure. But hey, if you guys enjoy this content, let me know in the comment section down below. I know a lot of people watch Mr. Beast and I really enjoy the content. So I hope you guys do too as well. Before I get up out of here, if you guys like to follow me on my gaming channel, link will be in the description down below. That does it for this one. I will see you guys in the next one, baby. Love y'all. Peace.